Um, all right. Uh, what did Ayn Rand think about the We the Living movie, and when did she find out about its existence? She loved it. She thought it was excellent, from what I can tell. And uh, she, uh, you know, she discovered it when it was rediscovered um, in the 1960s, I think it was. It was brought over from Italy, uh, and she, she got to see it, and she really loved it as movie making. Some of the dialogue she thought was off in terms of uh, not conveying the message. She actually had it, the subtitles, the English subtitles, reflect actually Ayn Rand's editing. So it's not exactly what they're saying. It's not an accurate translation of what the actors are saying. So she was involved in, during the 70s, I think, in uh, the remake, in, uh, not the remake, the, uh, the, 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 the cleaning up of the movie and the putting subtitles on and the re-release of the movie. So the release of the movie in the United States in the 1970s, I think it was, um, was something she supported, something she embraced, and something she was involved in, particularly uh, uh, on editing some of the subtitles to make them more reflective of, of, of the novel and less reflected of the, uh, you know, I guess the bad, uh, the, the bad translation or the bad uh, philosophical premise of, of, uh, of the people who made the movie. But I don't know if you know the story of the movie. The story is fascinating. So the story of the movie is the movie was made in Italy, and it's a beautiful movie, and I highly, highly recommend it. Anita Valley is a great Kira. It's in black and white. It's in Italian. It was made during uh, the war. It was made, I think, in 41 or 42 in Italy under Mussolini, and it was, uh, it was really made as an anti-totalitarian movie. But, of course, Mussolini thought, oh, no, no, this is just an anti-communist movie, and, of course, he was a fascist, so he was like, cool, let's, let's make an anti-communist anti, uh, movie. So he gave it a green light, and the movie was made, and it was made by an Italian director, and, and clearly it, it was broader than just communism. But, um, and it was released in Italy, but before it was released, Mussolini had a copy sent to Goebbels in Italy, in, sorry, in Germany. And Goebbels watched the movie, and he immediately, t you know, telegraphed Mussolini, what are you doing, you idiot, basically? Um, this is an anti-totalitarianism movie. This isn't just communism. This is attacking us. And Mussolini immediately had uh, all the copies of the movie uh, rounded up and burnt. And one copy was hidden and survived, and that's the copy that was discovered in the 1960s and brought to Ayn Rand, and Ayn Rand got to see it. And, and authorized kind of its re-release. So she was never asked about the movie. She didn't know it existed. Uh, she didn't know the story, as far as I know. And uh, she never got royalties, anything like that. And, and, um, but, I mean, it, it's a beautiful movie. So I, I, I highly, highly recommend uh, you find it. It's available on, on, used to be available on Blu-ray and DVD. I'm not sure if it's available on Netflix or something like that, but, but go find it. It's, it's a, it's a great, great movie and a great story. Um, Using the Super Chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com you're on book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next what we need today what i call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes.